Good morning guys. Wow, it feels weird because I haven't vlogged in my uniform or for work in like almost three weeks because this is my first trip back or this is, yeah, my first trip back from my trip. <laughs> my first work trip back. But I am doing one flight straight down to Phoenix, Arizona. I love Phoenix. I haven't been there in years, so I'm super excited to go. I've got a really good crew and I am running behind as usual, so I have to request an Uber, but I wanted to share very quickly everything that I'm packing for food. And of course, I have it set up all nice and pretty for you guys, but I have for, let me start, I don't even know where to start. There's so much stuff here. Really quickly, I have this coffee. It doesn't look good. I just put it in this little container that I have, but it's actually cold brew, like the organic chameleon cold brew. I love this company from Austin. And this Vital Proteins Collagen Creamer mixed together. So that's why it looks kind of like chunky and weird, but it, it tastes really good actually. And I've been trying to incorporate a lot more collagen into my day-to-day -day life lately because I actually do notice a difference in my skin and my nails grow really strong and fast when I take collagen. I have boiled eggs and they don't look in, like fancy at all. They're just like basic boiled eggs, but I just wanted some good clean protein to have for this morning. I have two of my little fruit bowls, one for today, one for tomorrow. Bee pollen, blackberries, blueberries, pumpkin seeds, and flax seeds. And I put some chia seeds as well in here in these little glass containers. To go with that, since I didn't have any coconut smoothie, um, I have the Kulina blueberry lavender yogurt, which is super good. Honestly, I'm not even like a fan of this yogurt because they put too much sugar in it. They were out of lava, so they sent me this instead. So yeah, I have that yogurt too, but whatever. For lunch food, this is not actually for today. This is mainly for tomorrow. I've been roasted turkey breast nitrate free and I'm gonna like kind of tear it up and just stick it in this little salad bowl I have spinach arugula and sprouts in here don't tell me how I'm gonna fit all of this in that little bag right there I have a matcha hustle drink for tomorrow in case I don't have time to get coffee for tomorrow so I like to have that in there just in case for snacks I have Chicharrones, I have seaweed snacks, and I have the Who chocolate hunks. For like a little treat, I also have classic root beer Olipop, orange squeeze Olipop, and then I made these like grain-free vegan paleo cookies um, last night from Capello's. This is my favorite, favorite cookie dough company. It's so freaking good, and I like sharing them with my crew, so I pack a little bag of that. I have two lemons because I wanna start putting more lemon in my water. And plus these lemons were probably gonna go bad by the time I got back. And then I have my digestive enzymes that are always good to have while flying. All right, so I was semi able to get everything in here. The only things that didn't fit, of course, was the pork rinds and the seaweed snacks because they're just so puffed up. So I just put those in my work bag. Finally made it to Scottsdale, Arizona, and I actually I have a little balcony, a real one. My last vlog or vlog with a balcony, it was fake, and I couldn't open the door. So now I have a real one with a little view of the pool. I mean, there's some, there's kind of a view, not really. <laughs> it's kind of flat. I love coming to Arizona. I haven't been here in so long, and I missed it so much. We are going to try to go paddle boarding, so we're probably gonna leave here in about like an hour or so and then the whole crew is gonna get dinner together most likely and we're gonna go probably somewhere like cute, casual, most likely Mexican. Uh, but I just wanna get out of this uniform. The flight was super easy. I had an amazing crew, so that made it really good too. Very chill, relaxed, 100% full. Well, we had a few empty seats, but it was a pretty packed flight. And it went by quick. Kelly and I ended up talking like the whole time as we do when we work together, which is great. And it makes the flight go by super fast. So I'm just happy to be here. It feels good. This is like a good trip to come back to after being off for so long. All right, so I've been using this electrolytes packet. 
by Element. I'm so obsessed with this stuff. This is my new favorite way to get in electrolytes. I've been using them for probably about a month now. This is like the only electrolyte packet or like company that I've tried where I genuinely really, really, really feel like I'm being hydrated. It's super salty, so I use one packet and I put it in an entire like I think this is a 62 ounce Hydro Flask. I think they're waiting for me outside, so I have to hurry up, but they have good flavors. They even have like spicy flavors, but this citrus salt one is super good. Element, L-M-N-T, it's so good. Okay, water with electrolytes, non-toxic sunscreen. I just get this from Whole Foods. Non-toxic sunscreen lip balm, lip gloss from Super Goop. You guys know I'm always talking about Super Goop. And then my glow stick, this is kind of just extra. I mainly use my glow stick for like makeup just because I like the way it makes my face look like it has highlighter on it. And then a little tweet for the road. I'm bringing the orange Olipop that I packed, but they are literally downstairs waiting for me, so I have to leave now. the sun and it's so freaking hot they're still out there somewhere you can't really see them 102 degrees outside today okay my crew is waiting for me to go to dinner i have to run out the door they're literally both downstairs but i wanted to share very quickly what i'm wearing i am wearing the pants that i always wear now they're my new favorites just the princess polly black like crisscross pants this white shirt that i found at a thrift stop a silver chain choker necklace from Electric Picks. And then I got these shoes in San Diego to wear with my uh, dress that I wore to the wedding. Really basic, we're going to a restaurant called Diego Pops. I'm very excited, I've been there before, but it's been a few years. I have to run outside. Back from dinner. I didn't film much because I wanted to be present. I find it hard to film when I'm hanging out with people because I just don't, I don't wanna have like my phone or my camera out and I wanna just be present. But it was nice, dinner was really nice. Scottsdale is very um, people watchable. It's very fun to watch people here. Like all the girls at the restaurant that I went to, they all look like models. They were all, they all, were like six feet tall. They were the tallest girls I've like ever seen. The people who were there as customers were like super interesting to watch. And I had two margaritas and tacos and guacamole. And it's super early. It's only like, it's only seven. So I think I'm probably gonna wake up at like, I think I'm gonna do some video editing. And then I'm gonna wake up at like six. Really get back into this like morning meditation. I'm gonna get back into my Wim Hof breathing. I'm going to journal. I'm going to meditate and try to get in a little workout because we have a really long day ahead of us tomorrow. And then Kelly and I are gonna go for a walk and get coffee. I am editing with my nerdy little red light glasses, but I've talked about these before and I will continue to talk about them I'm obsessed with them. I have like a, I, I think I've said this before, but I have like a manifestation list of companies that I would love to work with one day because I'm obsessed with their product. Element, what I mentioned earlier, the electrolytes, and then these blue light blocking glasses, they literally get me tired. Like if I wear them a couple hours before bed, I am out by the time my head hits the pillow. I'll leave a link for the exact style that I wear there. They are on the pricier end, but I think you really get what you pay for with these. But I'm just editing and I am getting tired. Let's see it. Oh, it's 1047 at home. I wanted to, I, I always like pride myself on being real um, and I strive to be like authentic. Although I feel like that word gets pushed around a lot lately on like, especially on like social media, people throw around the word authentic and I feel like Sometimes the people who throw it around are like the least authentic people, but overall I've been having a good day and I've been having like a good time in Phoenix, but my body image and like body dysmorphia has just been like extra bad the past few days. I, I don't really know why. Um, I like earlier I was talking about how pretty the girls were and um, in the restaurant and I just found myself like comparing myself and 
I try not to do that. I don't know what it is lately. I've just been like really struggling with body image. And I know girls and guys go through this. It's not just a female thing, it's a guy thing too. It sucks. Uh, and it's something that I like, I don't really feel like I fully have the tools. I know I have the tools, I can do meditation and journal about it, but I don't really think I know how to like totally like tackle that and overcome my body image issues that I have with myself. So I feel like so much of my mental health and just my life in general has really been coming together in the past year more so than it ever has before and i feel like there are these like two little lingering things left in my life one is getting my body image and self-worth right mainly self-worth through my body image that's like my biggest struggle and um and then i like so a few money things that like my relationship with money is something that i really want to work on and i was saying this to my friend the other day like I can know all the little tips and tricks of like how to save and I, I do that and I do save and I do I have like you know everything I need to be set up like I have like a credit card that works perfect for my lifestyle I have like multiple bank accounts one for savings that I don't even touch I don't have a card for I have like direct deposits from my paychecks into the savings I have like retirement funds like I have all this stuff one thing I'm not great at is like stocks and stuff and that's something i would like to learn more about but it's it's my personal like emotional i guess relationship with money that i need to work on and body image and those are the two things i really need to focus on and i've been considering hiring a therapist for myself lately i've never done therapy i'm just curious what your guys is what some of your experience is with therapy and if it's really benefited you and if you recommend it. I've really heard mainly good things. I've never really heard anyone say anything bad about getting therapy before, but these are just the two lingering things that I know need work. I feel like big manifestations and big things are right around the corner for me lately, which is exciting and awesome, but I feel like they're not really gonna come through and I'm not really going to appreciate them unless I get those two things sorted. Gonna get back to editing this video for you guys because I, that's just something that brings me joy and makes me happy and I know makes you guys happy, the ones who keep coming back to watch my videos. Hit me up in the comments and I'd really like to know y'all's thoughts on that kind of stuff. I need a little travel like citrus squeezer because I hate getting all the seeds in my lemon juice because then it gets stuck in the straw in my hydro flask. I need to find on Amazon a little citrus squeezer so that I don't have to deal with this. But then that's just another thing I have to put in my lunch bag. But I'm trying to incorporate more lemon into into like, you know, my daily routine. I've been I used to be so good about drinking lemon water every morning. You guys, I've like really let go of some of my habits and my like good habits, which is not good, especially right now with how wild travel is and how much you know flight attendants are working and i think now is like the most crucial time to be taking care of yourself in the travel industry because it's wild out there it's like the wild west <laughs> in the airline industry right now and for for the people working um i'm not saying it's you know it's safe to fly and all of that but for the workers we really got to be on our a game and take care of ourselves i know that's such a trajectory from just talking about lemon water but the healthy habits are so important to be on top of right now for like mental health and physical health. But I'm just trying to be better about water. I've been drinking a lot more caffeine than normal lately. I feel like this is just good to have alongside my coffee, some nice lemon water. I gotta run downstairs. I feel like every time I film in this vlog, I, I have to like go run, do something. My van time's in. Well, it's in nine minutes, but I am doing one flight to Boston. We're sitting for like an hour and a half, which isn't very long. And then we're flying down to, we're switching planes and then flying down to Miami for a quick little Miami. I will continue to vlog through Miami as well. I want to come back to Phoenix as fast as possible. Maybe not when it's a hundred degrees outside, but I feel like I got lots of vitamin D while I was here and 
I really miss this place. Getting to hang out with Kelly and Sarah and go to dinner and get coffee this morning, all of it was just so nice. It was like the perfect layover when I have an activity and I have like a little cutesy dinner, coffee, whatever. morning i don't even have a voice i'm so tired we got in i didn't get to the hotel till 2 a.m last night it's now it's 10 12 i tried to wake up at 9 and i just couldn't yesterday took it out of me and i just hit snooze over and over and over again but i am gonna run over to whole foods i had big plans to go for a nice long walk along the water this morning but that clearly didn't happen and so i have just enough time to go get like a smoothie from joe the juice a coffee and go to whole foods and grab some stuff for today for the flight i just have one flight back oh my goodness i am so tired <laughs> latte is unreal like it's really really good i get so picky with ice lattes because some of them are just like all milk and it's gross this one is like perfect parts espresso and oat milk it's a little bigger than i wanted but it's good i just got back from whole foods uh yeah i just spent a hundred dollars yes one zero zero dollars at whole foods but I got some really good stuff for home that I never see at my Whole Foods in Boston. So I just stocked up. Well, maybe not stocked up, but I just, I, I had to indulge and buy these things. So, okay, I'm just gonna run through it really quick because I don't have a lot of time. I have to get ready soon. Like, I literally have like 30 minutes until my van time. So I have to make this as fast as possible, but I'll stop talking. Okay, really quick, basic stuff that I got. Some watermelon for today. I just really want some fruit today. I got some pomegranate seeds. I needed some convenient, like, pre-chopped up fruit for myself just to have on the plane. Um, I got a green juice that I'm going to drink on the way to the airport. My coffee was super good. I'm, like, buzzing because my coffee was so good. I think I'm going to... I've said this so many times and I do I'm gonna like I go through my phases with coffee I think it's time for another break because I've been super dependent on it lately and that's when I get the cue of like all right it's time to cut it out for a little while so I'm gonna do that it sucks but it's necessary and then I got some plums these are black plums yeah black plums I love plums I love stone fruits so those will be good um, also for the flight after I eat all my fruit I got a rebel protein drink this one has maca, reishi, ashwagandha, and MCT oils. It's 16 grams of MCTs. Okay, I used to buy these in LA all the time. I've never seen them out on the East Coast. These little peckish containers. So what this is, is it's like two boiled eggs and they have all different kinds of flavors. My favorite one that I tried once was like a maple waffle egg flavor and they give you this little seasoning packet and you just kind of like dump the eggs around in the seasoning packet and you just eat the boiled eggs like that this one's a ranch flavored so that'll be yummy a little extra protein on the plane i got some grain free my favorite cookies these cookies are so good if you are ever at whole foods or i think maybe sprouts uh, i know a few places sell them the siete grain free mexican wedding cookies the shortbread and chocolate ones are also super good but these are like to die for shelby and i ate them on our road trip and we were like freaking out about how good they were these are life and then i just got some lip scrub this looked pretty good um i usually get lip scrub at lush but i haven't been there in so long this is um eco lips lip scrub i really like using lip scrub after i've done my makeup just to get like if i have foundation or anything around my lips just to get that stuff off plus lip scrub just kind of like plumps up your lips i love to do like a good lip scrub and then put a nice like thick lip balm on my lips so 
got that. Okay, and then these next three things, okay. Valerian root. I like to use valerian root when I'm at home. I will put it in my tea and I feel like right now with how crazy work is and how like packed the flights are, the airports are packed, all flights are like 100% booked or oversold. It's just go, 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 go right now in this world, in the travel world. I think it's extremely important to take care of yourself and relax when you have downtime. Valerian root really helps with that. It just, it, it helps calm me down. It's really good for relaxation, for your nervous system. I recommend drinking either valerian tea. Um, you can take like pill supplements, but I like the tincture just to drop in my tea before I go to bed when I'm at home. Um, and then I have been wanting to try this stuff for so long. Be Smart Brain Fuel. So basically this has royal jelly. Oh, I don't know. I cannot pronounce these other things. Biloba, Bacopa, Moniri, and Ginkgo. <laughs> but basically this is really good for focus and energy. Potent plant-based adaptogens help you power through the brain fog and find your flow. So I wanna take these when I'm editing during the day because it just really helps you get centered and focused. The Skinny Confidential, it's like these little vials and you just take it kind of like a shot. She swears by this stuff. She says she takes one every morning when she works and I trust everything she recommends. So I'm really excited to try this stuff out. It was, I got it because it was on sale at Whole Foods. I've been wanting to order it for a while, but it was literally about $10 off. So I wanted to grab these. And then I saw this. I'm gonna take these home, throw them in the fridge. This is like a fermented, it's an alcoholic drink. Fermented, 4.9% alcohol. It's called Pulp Cork, Pulp culture hard pressed juice and this one is relaxed they had one that was like one that was like an energy one and then the uh one that was like promoted promoted like i don't remember the names of the other ones but this one stood out to me more relaxed it has blueberry lemon lavender valerian root like what i just showed and reishi which is amazing for calming down and like zenning out pretty much um it says there's no sugar in here there's probiotics so i guess it's kind of like a hard kombucha doesn't really say that but i'm really excited to try this when i get home i'll probably have a couple this weekend i need to keep it cold and put it in my lunch bag and that's it i have to get ready right now oh, i am ready to go home i am ready to go enjoy this holiday weekend this was a good vlog it feels good to be back at work vlogging my little layovers and my grocery hauls i am ready for a couple days off and then i'm gonna get right back to it i am vlogging every trip this month so there is a lot of content coming. It just feels good to be back in uniform with the camera again. <laughs> but um, I have to go. Like I said, this entire vlog has been me in a rush or behind <laughs> running to get my van or to meet people downstairs or something. So I have to go. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please leave a comment down below. Say hello. That is my favorite thing about YouTube. Also, my name is Vera. For those of you who are new here, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. You can follow me on Instagram at Balanced Flyer, just like the name of my YouTube channel. And I will see you in my next vlog. Bye.